basketball legend Michael Jordan's quote as what motivated South Korean short track speed skater Hwang Dae-hun to not give up when it was at the center of a recent officiating controversy for the country's first gold at Beijing 2022. Hwang really didn't let the obstacles stop him in his pursuit of an Olympic title and captured gold in the man's 1500 meter. It was the first Olympic gold for him and also for South Korea in the Chinese capital. In the final of the men's 1500-meter event held on Wednesday, Huang defeated Stephen Devo of Canada by 0.035 second. After he was unfairly disqualified from the men's 1000-meter semifinals on Monday for what the referee claimed to be an illegal contact, this time Huang left no room for any video review with extremely clean race. Indeed, from the quarterfinals and all the way through to the final, Huang made his passes on the outside corner instead of making any moves on the inside and risking penalties. After winning gold, Huang said at a press conference that he had prepared a strategy that would leave no room for judging. He said, I wanted to make sure no one would get their hands on me and added, it was the most intense game I've ever participated in my life. This is in fact the second career Olympic medal for Huang, who won silver in the 500 meter at Pyeongchang 2018. Back then, Huang was only 19, the youngest in his team. After his first ever Olympic game in Pyeongchang, Huang rose to international stardom along with his then teammate and also the 1500 meter champion Im Hyo Jin, but it didn't last for long. In June 2019, Im was convicted of sexual harassment after he publicly pulled down Huang Dehan's pants in front of male and female teammates during a rock climbing training session. Im was suspended from the national team for a year, but was found not guilty in appeal. He later left South Korea and became a naturalized Chinese citizen. Huang suffered from psychological damage, but kept his focus on the ice, just like he did in the recent finals. As soon as the good news was shared, social media exploded with an outpouring of excitement and celebrations. First, BTS RM shared a clip of the South Korean skater winning gold with a caption saying respect. On February 7th, Chinese netizens bombarded RM's Instagram with malicious comments after he shared a video showing Huang overtaking two Chinese skaters during the men's 1,000m semifinals. They immediately began to post vomiting emojis on RM's latest posts for apparently showing support for Huang, but armies fought back by purifying the comments with purple heart emojis. Volleyball legend Kim Young-kyung also shared a clip of Huang finishing the first and congratulated him with gold medal, South Korean national flag, and clapping emojis. President Moon Jae-in praised Huang's overwhelming talent and lauded his win as a fit that wiped away the sense of unfairness. On the same day Huang won gold medal, the women's 3,000-meter relay team qualified for Sunday's final, proving that South Korea still remains the most successful country in Olympic short track history. Meanwhile, Chinese skaters who claimed gold and silver medals in the men's 1000m did not make it to the final of the men's 1500m, and in fact, gold medalist Lin Zui was disqualified for an illegal contact.